morning and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this new grocery haul. So I have been super busy and today I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do an Instacart order and have it just show up at my door and it, is, it will be well worth the, the fee, right? And so I'll show you what I got. I made, came home from piano lessons, made a meal plan, um, went on, ordered everything and it showed up. And so... I feel very fortunate that I live somewhere that has this kind of service because, oh my gosh, like I have lived so many places that didn't offer it, so I feel very fortunate about this. So I hope you guys enjoy this grocery haul and all the meal ideas. I'll show you my meal plan as well and I'll show you the total at the end. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Alright guys These are what I got I always stock up on these They're just a quick and easy side And I always make them in the microwave so they're the Nor packets, and I actually bought these by mistake one time, and now we really like them. So um, I just got two of each of those. Um, some tuna fish just to stock up on on my communal pantry, and I'll link my video here where I talked about my communal pantry. I have two things of broccoli, because these bags were actually cheaper than the fresh, and then I don't have to do so much chopping. So I just thought this time I would go this way. Um, two things of the kits, the Caesar salad kits. And then we usually chop a little bit more like romaine with this. But um, I love the ones from Costco. But when I'm not going to Costco, these work just fine. Fettuccine for my lemon chicken pasta. And I love this. It's like a staple in my house. I will put a card right here for that. Um, always got to have Texas toast just with spaghetti and staples and things like that. Um, I needed some taco seasoning before I went to get a big one at Costco, so I grabbed that. This is actually for that Mississippi roast. I've never actually done it, but it said to get this, so that's what I got. And this is actually my favorite kind of gravy, and I just wanted one on hand. I really like the sausage flavor, but guys, this is so easy to make. I know, like, gravy is easy to make, too, but this literally takes, like, no time, and it's amazing, and then people think it's homemade. I just got some white rice to stock up on, and then I got a big thing of kale because I'm going to make uh, Olive Garden soup and use kale. Corn tortillas for tacos, and I have a half of a pork shoulder that I'm gonna make some carnitas tacos, so I got kind of a big thing of corn tortillas. Two things of egg noodles. Um, one of these is for, they're both actually for a meal. One is for a new meal that I have not even tried. It's um, a recipe I got from somebody else. It's called beef tips, and it's a crock pot meal. I'll film it for you guys. I'm super excited. The other one is for a noodle bake, and that is like a staple thing in my house. I have been meaning to stock up on um, spaghetti sauce for a while, so I got three of these. And then this, this is actually my favorite kind, so it's the Bertoli, it's the olive oil and basil and garlic. And then this is the Publix brand, so I really wanted to just try it and see how comparable it was. What's back here is a marinade that I love. I marinate chicken in this. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's the best. It's like a lemon herb marinade. It's amazing by Lowry. I got pepperoncinis for that Mississippi roast and some Olive Garden dressing for another crock pot meal that I'm going to actually try. And um, I do have a barbecue chicken crock pot meal that I put over potatoes that uses some Italian dressing as well. Um, one of the crock pot meals called for this shaved Parmesan, so that's not something I normally buy. So I just went ahead and grabbed that. And one of the meals calls for this penne pasta. This was actually my only substitution in my whole Instacart order, so I thought that was really good. Um, and it was really only like 50 cents more than the original brand that I picked out. 
And so we'll get onto some fresh stuff here. So asparagus, um, mushrooms for that lemon pasta that I make. There is basil for this as well. Um, here's some cilantro and that I really like lately making white rice and um, putting lime and cilantro in it. So there's some limes right here for that. This is a zucchini for a casserole that I make that I haven't made in forever. And actually for that casserole, I needed this red onion and the bell pepper as well. It's like a recipe that one of my girlfriends came over and cooked for me when I was... <laughs> Uh, someone is at the front door when I was legit um, like just had my baby came over and cooked me this meal so I'll film it for you guys yellow onions two things of red potatoes and this is all my dairy stuff so I have two things of milk we really like this fair light milk and I got some heavy whipping cream. This was for a recipe. This cream cheese is for a recipe. These crescent rolls are actually for that casserole that I told you about. And this feta cheese is for that casserole as well. I know it sounds different, right? I have some cottage cheese that is for the noodle bake and I have sour cream. That's for the noodle bake as well, but actually um, tacos and everything. So I got a little bit bigger of one. Um, we were out of creamer, so I'll, I went ahead and got some French vanilla creamer. And then my husband just told me, why didn't you get your coconut one? And I have been loving the coconut creamer, and I've been out forever, and I just totally forgot. I think it's just a mom thing. You think about everyone but yourself. You guys feel me? And this is all the meat I got. I have a bunch kind of stocked up from Costco and different things, different trips to the store. So this was all I needed. I got one thing of thin pork chops. Um, these are for the beef tips. It's like stew meat basically. And so it's just cut up um, chuck roast I want to say. And so it's a couple pounds here. And then I got this Italian sausage and that is for the Olive Garden soup. This stuff's my overflow. Um, I just went ahead and stocked up on these because they were on sale. They were buy one get one free. It was my favorite cereal, Special K. Uh, always, you know, need eggs, so I got an 18 thing of eggs, and these three cans are actually for those beef tips that I was telling you guys about, that crock pot recipe, and then I haven't bought asparagus in the can forever, but for some reason I just thought, you know what, I should have it on hand, and I usually have, like, green beans and different vegetables canned all the time on hand, but this is something I used to buy, but I haven't bought in forever, so that's it. Oh, so I should tell you guys, I did get some soda, like some Diet Coke and Coke. Uh, but I think I only got one 12 pack of each, and that's it. So my total was, so this was my total. I went ahead and just did whatever they recommended tip-wise, and then I don't know why I have a service fee. I have to check that out. And the delivery fee was $3.99. It said it would get here within five hours. It really got here within two, so that was wonderful. Usually it's two hours for me. So this is what my totals ended up being like. So just so you guys have an idea, basically it's costing me about $20 more to do Instacart. And honestly, it's super worth it. My mom actually has the membership that you do every month and I should have just went on hers and ordered but what can you do but this it's so worth it because I didn't have to leave my house fight traffic wear a mask look for everything in the store and it worked out just perfect